Jason Graber, Gabe Gladish in the backcourt, in the frontcourt, Austin Ainsco and Keegan O'Neill. Starters for Ligoti, Coach Ash. Yeah, the Lions will start with one guard, Bailey Deerwester, a 5'11 junior. And another guard, 6'1 senior, Jaden Wagner. And a third guard, a 6'0 junior, Kate Cheesum. At one forward, a 6'4 freshman, Silas Bauer. And another guard, another freshman, Levi Penley, a 5'10 freshman. So the Lions with four guards and Bauer. Definitely looking to take advantage of some quickness. Tip today brought to you by Boyd Green in Washington. Tip is up, controlled by Bar Eve, and here comes the Vikings. And the Goatee starts in a man-to-man defense. Bryson Graber down to Keegan O'Neill. Keegan, nice job. Misses the short one, and on the rebound, Ainsco going to put it up on the rim. Bauer going to knock it off. It's going to be a goal ten call. Bar Eve strikes first, 2 nothing. That's a good little move by Keegan. Just wasn't able to finish, but on the tip, as he was going for a rebound, it was tipped right over to Austin Ainsco, who was wide open on the other side, and was able to put it up, and Bauer went off and went up and got it off the rim for an easy goaltending call. Henley with the basketball for Lagodi. He's guarded by Ainsco. He's going to back it out. Bauer's got it now. He's going to go up over Keegan, make a long two, and we're tied at two. It's a nice start for the freshman. 17-footer, he kind of triple threaded the ball, looked to maybe drive Keegan, take him off the dribble, and Keegan gave him just a little step there, and he was able to knock it down. And little token pressure by Lagodi. Bryson Graber's bounce pass is going to be kicked out of bounds, and Barry's going to get it on the baseline. On the inbounds, Gladish over to Bryson, Keegan, Isaac Wagler now in the left corner, Gladish with the basketball, he's spinning, working on Deer Wester, over to Ainsco, out to Isaac, Ainsco with it again, Gabe Gladish gets a little ball screen, Austin Ainsco going to set for three, it's going to roll out no good. And here comes Ligoti with the rebound. It was a good defensive set there by Ligoti. They kept the ball out of the lane and took the Vikings, made the Vikings take a contested three-point shot. So we're tied at two. Bauer with the basketball. And almost a turnover. Ligoti going to get it back. Wagner going to step back. Long three. No good. Bodies all over the place on the block out. And here comes Barif after the miss. A good rebound there by Barif. Isaac Wagler with it in the corner. Out to Ainsco. Over to Bryson on the right side. Keegan. It's a cutting Isaac Wagler. Isaac lays it in. Good cut by Isaac. Just got behind the defense. Well, how, many time, how many times have we seen that this year where when Keegan has the ball, I mean, just the defender's eyes, everybody on the floor, their eyes are watching Keegan, and Isaac has just made a made it a science this year to find ways to back cut and find those open areas. Bauer with the basketball for Ligoti. Isaac Wagler going to, or uh, Dawson Ainsco going to take one away. Bryson Graber's got it. Bryson working on Penley. Over to Isaac, back to Bryson. Keegan O'Neill down in the post. And his shot going to be poked away. Barry going to get it on the baseline. A nice help side defense there. They guard went in and slapped it away from Keegan. <laughs> 4-2, Bar Reeve. Vikings with the basketball. Bryson with it. Out to Gabe. Keegan O'Neill. Ainsco with a long two. It's going to be an air ball. And Isaac Wagler had a tip. It's no good. And here comes Lagodi. Yeah, I'd like to see Isaac just pull that ball right back down and go right up and be able to score the basket. Deer Wester's three is long on the other end. And here comes Bar Eve again. 4-2. 445 left opening quarter. A lot of action so far. Neither team uh, real sharp putting the ball in the basket as of yet. Bryson's got it looking for Ainsco. And 
ball going to be saved. That was a turnover. Good play by Ainsco off of a bad pass. And Barry going to reset. That's a great save by Ainsco. I'm not sure how he pulled that off. And Gladys with a long three, and that was not a good shot. No, he just caught it. It wasn't in rhythm. Um, he just kind of pulled it. He was a few feet behind the line when he took that. And Jaden Wagner's shot going to be blocked on the other end by Ainsco. Slides over on the help side. Here comes Barib again. So 4 2, still a little choppy. And Gladish going to be fouled. And I think he'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. Vikings may have caught a break right there. I thought that was another deflection. Yeah, I think Wagner made a good play on it. Uh, the foul's going to be called on, on Cheesem, so okay. the right. foul must have been uh, on the on the ball defender because Wagner made a really nice play stripping the ball as Gabe was driving to the basket. Gabe at the free throw line, got the first one, 5-2 Bari. And Jasper did a pretty nice job on Gabe the other night. I think Gabe still had 10 points, but uh, done a really nice job. Gabe with another, and got them both. 6-2, Bar Eve here in the early going. Four minutes left in the opening quarter. Deer Wester with the basketball for Lagodi. He's guarded by Isaac Wagler, both of these teams man-to-man. -man. Over to Pinley. Lagodi going to back it out, try to get organized here. Wanted to run a little back cut right there. Well guarded by Isaac Wagler. Bailey's got it again. Deer Wester. Bauer. Guarded by Keegan. He pulls up 15 footer and he got it. That is not an easy shot, Mike. That's a, again, triple thread of the ball. A little head fake. One dribble. Strong dribble to his right. And he pulled up from 16, 17 feet and knocked it down. And Barry going to turn one over on the other end. And here comes Deer Wester, Jaden Wagner. Bowers got it again. He's going to bounce it back to Wagner. Wagner has it poked away. That was Isaac Wagner and Keegan O'Neill going to run it down. Here comes Bryson again. Mike is doing a nice job containing Wagner. Um, a lot of help, helping hands as he's been driving. We've been able to block a shot and poke it away for a steal. Gladish out to Bryson. 2.40 left, opening quarter. 6-4 Vikings. Keegan O'Neill tried to hit a cut, cutting Isaac Wagler, but Ains goes in there, and you just can't have that many bodies in the lane. It was, it was way too crowded and, and not, a, not a very good pass. And, um, and that, that's just another empty possession for Bar Reef. So we'll go to you with the ball. Coming up on two minutes left in the quarter. 6-4. Bikes by two. Deer Wester has it high on the right side over to Cheesem. Jaden Wagner now. He's guarded by Gabe Gladish. Bauer going to try to drive it on Keegan. His shot going to be long. Keegan going to grab the rebound. Here comes Bryson. And Bauer has all four points for the Lions. Both of them are very nice jump shots. With his athleticism and size, if he gets that mid-range jump shot, he is going to be a handful these next four years. Bryson with it, top of the key, over to Isaac on the left side. Bowers did a nice job using his quickness to get around Keegan O'Neill. Keegan, jumper from the corner, or from the uh, elbow is no good. He got him by Ligoti. So Ligoti with it again. Minute 15 left, opening quarter. And a little floater by Bailey Deerwester. Well, that was Kay Cheesem, and we're tied at six. A little 15-foot floater as he got the screen from Bauer. Gladish with it in the corner. And he's going to step on the line. On the baseline. And Lagodi going to get it back with 57 seconds. Now, when you drive the baseline, you've got to be sure that you beat your defender, that you've got a, a shooter in the corner. And uh, this Gabe was walking the tightrope tight there and ran out of room. She's him with the basketball. Oh, out to Jaden Wagner. Penley's got it. Long three put up by Lagodi. No good. And Lagodi going to run down the offensive rebound. That's Jaden Wagner. A long rebound, and Wagner went up and got it. Two Vikings were right next to him, just couldn't get their hands on the ball. 
Rodner's got it again on the left side. 25 seconds left. Bowers. Isaac Wagler almost picked one off. Finley's got it in the corner. We're down to 15 seconds left in the opening quarter. She's them directing traffic. Out to Bauer. And they hit a cutting cage. She's them. And he lays it in. And they bat it in to quarter number one. 8 6 Lagodi leads it. Back to Jack Butcher Sports Arena after this one minute timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cody Army Reserves will everyone to stand up against the cancer. They're supposed to stand up. Our defense ought to think about it. Yeah, yeah.
four and a half minutes left in the second quarter. Austin Yoder and Quentin Yoder at the scorer's table, and they're going to get another foul on Barreve, and that's going to put Finley back at the line. Foul's going to be on Nick Parsons, his first, team second. Finley's going to have two free throws. Got the first, 13-12 Lagodi. Quentin Yoder checks in. Keegan O'Neill is going to sit down. Austin Yoder checks in. Gladish going to sit down. Henley gets them both. And Lagodi with a two-point lead. Yoda continues their token pressure. Looking to maybe get a trap and a, and a core. They got two good opportunities there. Vikings fortunate not to have a turnover on that long cross court pass. Austin Ainsco going to pull, pull up. 15 footer. No good. Rebounded by Lagodi again. Vikings are just out of sorts offensively right now. Lagodi's done a nice job defensively keeping the ball out of the lane, making it difficult for Barreve, and Vikings just having trouble right now. Bowers got it. He's guarded by Ainsco. Over to Cheesem. Cheesem wanted to pull the trigger on a three. Wagner's got it now, guarded by Austin Yoder. Into the corner. Deer West are going to fire a three. It's going to be long. Rebounded by Austin Yoder. Well, the Vikings have been very fortunate. Deer West has had a couple good looks and has not been able to connect. And he is a good shooter. Barry going to take a timeout. We'll take one, two. 310 left. Opening half. 14 12. Lagodi. Back to Jack Butcher Sports Arena after this one minute timeout. Our fortunate there. They Lions stripped it away from Keegan O'Neill and able to come up with the ball. Missed defensive assignment, but Barry going to get a long rebound, and here comes Gladish. And he it looked like Quentin Yoder was going to have a layup. Going to be blocked away behind the back pass. And now here going to come up with it. And Wagner's shot going to be no good. Ball tapped around, and Barry has not got a 50-50 ball all day. Three put up by Lagodi. Barry was about 0 for 8 on 50-50 balls today. Yeah, there's Barry's got to get that basketball. Isaac Wagler going to miss on a cut, and Quentin Yoder going to be fouled after establishing inside position. That's another easy opportunity there. Isaac is making a hard cut to the basket, just not able to finish. Quentin Yoder there for the offensive rebound. The foul is going to be over Quentin's back on the floor. So on the inbounds, Isaac, Parsons, Gabe Gladish, down to Keegan O'Neill. Keegan, short jumper, no good, grabs his own offensive rebound. Goes off the glass this time and scores, 17-16. That's 
Keegan's first basket tonight, and Silas Bauer is really making it difficult on Keegan. And Ligoti's also sending another one or two defenders Keegan's way when he's gotten touches. Keegan's got to get good, better position on the block and, and just demand the basketball. Uh, he's got strength and size. And he just can't let himself get pushed out to that 15-foot area. Gody with the basketball. We're at a minute 10 left in the quarter. Keys, I'm going to fire a long three. No good. Rebounded by... Isaac Wagler, and here comes Laurie. And she's had Quentin Yoder on him and pulled a three-pointer that was about two feet behind the line. That was, that was probably not the shot that Coach wanted. And Keegan gets deep post position that time. Lays it in, 18-17. Yeah, and that's what he's got to do. He, he's just, there are times when I think he gives up that post position too easily. I mean, he's 6'8". He's a big boy, and, and there's no reason that he can't sit his butt on that block area or get inside and be able to to just stay there, and the guy and the guards have got to get it to him in a good time with good timing. And that time, it was very well executed. And Godie looks like they're going to go for the last shot of the half. Cheesem's got it, standing in the center circle. 18-17, Vikings by a point. We're at 15 seconds, and here goes Lagodi. Jaden Wagner's got it. Over to Harder. And Isaac Wagler really giving him the business. Three going to be put up at the buzzer, and it's no good. And a good last defensive possession by Barreve, and that was all Isaac Wagler. And I... St. John's beat Duke today. I watched the end of it. Wow. Oklahoma State, Kansas on the road. Let's watch the end of that, too. Kentucky's going to lose at Missouri. What's the score? 49-38. There's still nine, nine minutes left. Back at Ligoti. It'll be Barry Ball to start the second half, Coach Ash. Yep. And back with the starters for, looks like, both teams. Gladish has it on the left side, down to Keegan O'Neill. It's a cutting Isaac Wagler, and there's a good start. Isaac lays it up and in, 2017, Vikings by three. It was a good entry pass and a good job by Keegan, getting good position. Ligoti sent two defenders to double team, and that was where their problem was. They left a wide open Isaac Wagler, and Austin Ainsco was wide open too under the basket. Keegan could have picked either one of those guys to shoot a layup. Deer Wester has it over in the corner. He's guarded by Bryson, trying to turn the corner. And Bauer going to pick it up, lay it in. It's Bauer's six points tonight. Nice use of the left hand. But I can see why Ligoti fans are, are going to be excited. You know, they had some nice JV players, and they've got a couple freshmen out here on the court right now. I think their future is only going to look up the next few years. Bryson Graber, a little drive to the bucket, off the glass, no good, rebounded by Bauer. Here comes Ligoti. Yeah, that's a good look there for Bryson, just it's a little bit off balance in the shot, maybe take one more dribble. And Wagner going to miss a three. And here comes Barreve on the run. Gabe Gladish out to Ainsco. Bryson on the right side. Ainsco's got it high on the left side now. Back to Bryson Graber. And Bryson gets around. Finley is going to lay it in. 22-19. And that's something Bryson's going to have to start doing for the Vikings. Finley is not going to guard him on the three-point line. And he can attack the rim. If he can get off, get around on that shoulder of Pinley, he's going to be able to get to the free throw line or be able to connect from within. Deer Wester misses a three on the other end. Ainsco with a rebound. He gets it off to Gladish. Bryson Graber's got it high on the left side. He's going to center the basketball. Now make a dribble to the right over to Gladish. Isaac's got it now. Gabe. Off the glass, no good, but he's going to be fouled by Pinling or by Silas Bauer, excuse me, and go to the line to shoot two. Yeah, Bauer was in decent position on the hill, but Gabe really just went hard into him, and Bauer came down and, and slapped the arm. So good job by Gabe, really driving hard and looking for that contact. 
So gave it the line. Shooting two. First one going to roll out. We'll have another. Gabe spins it a couple of times. Next one. Got it. 23-19. Bikes by four. Bikes still in their man-to-man -man defense. In the half court. Again, Vikings have done a nice job forcing Lagodi out of the paint. And just as I say that, Bailey Deerwester drives hard in the lane and gets fouled by Isaac Wagler. Isaac just over pursued, pursued a little bit out on the three-point line, and Deer Wester did a nice job driving. So Deer Wester goes to the line to shoot two. First foul on Isaac. Got the first one to go. Got the second one to go. And here comes Bari with it. Back cut set. And pass goes out of bounds. And that's just a bad pass by Keegan O'Neill. Yeah. Uh, not, a, not a good play on. Not a good play. That's just a turnover that you you, you can't make. You've got to got to take care of the basketball. Deer Wester has it over in the right corner. Going to skip it over. Pinley for three. In and out. No good. Rebounded by Isaac. Here comes Barre. That was a good offensive possession there for Ligoti. Deer Wester broke the defense down, got in the lane. Vikings had to help, and Pinley had a, a wide open three. Just not able to connect. Gladish has it for the Vikings. Keegan's now got it. Gladish going to turn the corner, 15-footer, no good. And last touch by Gladish out of bounds, just not a good shot. Vikings they have a couple of good possessions, and then they have a couple where just not much happening. Yeah, just a tough shot. I mean, that, that's all there is to it. That was well defended, and you just want to get something a little better. Value those possessions. Wagner's got the ball for Ligoti, 23-21 Vikes. 4.20 left in the third quarter. Wagner over to Cheesem. Penley's got it now. He's guarded by Ainsco. Back to Silas Bauer. Wagner's got it again. Penley over to Deerwester. And... Another bad pass by Lagodi, so both teams just oh, trading man. possessions that aren't very good, Coach Ash. Yeah. Are you going to get it back? And somebody wants a timeout. Yeah, I'm not sure which coach wanted it first. I think Coach Cheesem is going to get it. It'll be a 30-second timeout. We'll go ahead and take one, two. 3.55 left, third quarter, 23-21, Bar-Eve. Back to Lagodi after this 30-second timeout. Lagodi High School, 23-21, Bari, 3.55 left. Third quarter, it will be Bari basketball, Coach Ash. Yeah, let's see if the Bari, that's out of the timeout here. Let's see if Bari can execute a set. I would, I would think Keegan O'Neill is going to get a touch down low. There's Keegan with the basketball. Going to go over everybody. Going to roll in and out, and Lagodi going to grab the rebound. That was, a, that was well executed. It was a good look by Keegan, just not able to make that little hook shot in the lane. So Lagodi with it again. Wagner. Bowers got it. 15-footer. Long. And Lagodi wins another 50-50 ball. Out to Wagner. Three. Good. It's not rocket science. If you don't win a 50-50 ball, bad things are going to happen. Yeah, and they got to go after it. 
there's no excuse for that. If you're trying to win a basketball game, you've got to go after that basketball. Keegan O'Neal, baseline number, gets it to go on the other end. 25-24, Vikings by a point. Three minutes left here in the third quarter. And that's Wagner's first basket of the game, and you hate to see him get going off of a broken play that the Vikings should have had a rebound. Bowers got it, working on Keegan. He's going to rise up. 15-footer, his shot's no good. And a bad pass by Barreve, and Ligoti going to take it right back. And Barreve just giving Ligoti extra opportunities here. And on the other end, they're going to say last touch is going to be tipped out of bounds, and Ligoti going to get it back. 25, 24, 223 left, third quarter. Comes Jaden Wagner with the basketball. And neither team is breaking any shooting percentage records today. Neither team able to connect inside and outside. They've had opportunities. Bauer, wild shot, no good. He's going to be fouled by Keegan. They'll go to the line to shoot two. And that was not a good shot by Bauer, and he's going to get bailed out by Keegan, who was in decent position and then just went up and fouled the shooter. And Coach Hughes is not going to be happy. You never want to foul a shooter, especially when Bauer is going to take such a tough shot. Bauer got the first. We're tied at 25. Parsons checking in. Bryce and Graber are going to sit down. Bauer trying to give Lagodi the lead again. And he can't. Haynes go with a rebound. Lagodi gets in a little 2 2 1 token pressure off the miss. Keegan O'Neill with it in the right corner. Parsons with it out high over to Ainsco. Gladish going to take a long three and got it. 28-25, and that was a little deeper than normal, but uh, when you're unguarded, mm, Gabe can a, step out and hit it. Yeah, that was, that was very pure, too. That, that didn't touch the rim. And Barry going to pick one off on the other end. Here comes... Isaac Wagler and Isaac going to be fouled from behind by, I think that's Landon Harder. So with a minute 17 left in the third quarter, Barry going to get it on their own baseline. Good athletic play there, defense. So that was a little spark. It felt like um, Isaac really aggressive in, on that defensive play, and that's what the Vikings need. They need to just pick the energy and, and aggressiveness up a little bit. And Isaac gets one to go in the middle of the lane. Little runner, 30-25, and now it's a five-point bar. Well, that's a great series there for Isaac. Just an aggressive move offensively, and again, he, he created that with the defensive steal as well. So Lagodi trailing by five with the ball. 57 seconds left here in the third quarter. Jaden Wagner's got it. Over to Harder. See if Lagodi tries to get the last shot. Bowers going to the bucket. And they're going to get a foul on Keegan O'Neill. I think he should be going to the line for a three-point play, Coach Ash. Uh, yeah. If I, if I was a Lagodi fan and coach, I would not be happy with that one. That's going to be Keegan's second foul. Uh, Bauer just gained him a little confidence. That was a good, strong drive on his right side. And uh, they say the foul happened before the act of shooting in the NBA. That would have definitely been a three-point play. And so Keegan going to sit down with that second foul. Going to try not to pick up a third here at the end of the quarter. So Ligoti with 40 seconds left. See if they get the last shot of quarter number three. And I think that's what they're trying to get done here. 30-25 Vikings. Lions, cheese them. Lions have possession coming out in the fourth quarter. We're down to 20. cheesem has got it again. We're at 15. Bowers got it. Over to Harder. 
Harder guarded by Isaac Wagler. Wagner, long three. It's going to be no good. Tapped around, and Lagodi grabbed it, but they ran out of time. At the end of three on the J.J.'s Concrete scoreboard, Barry 30, Lagodi 25. Back to Lagodi High School after this one-minute timeout. Similar, a Viking favorite. Is he in the house? Oh yeah, he's down there walking across. The legend himself. He is a legend. Good dude. Good. Vikings will be Lagodi ball to start quarter number four, Coach Ash. Yeah, and, and right now it's it's go time for both these teams. You know, I, neither team has really shown that you know, they, they wanted to step forward and take control of this basketball game. And a little spurt there at the end of the third quarter, Isaac Wacker with a steal and a basket, and um, the Vikings have extended the lead to a five point lead. And she's a kick on the other end, thirty to twenty eight. It's Cheesem's eighth point tonight. You get a nice offensive play there for uh, Lagodi just to drive in and made the Vikings defense suck in the middle and Cheesem had his feet set. Knocked three down. Gladish with it. And we're going to have a tie up. No, we're going to have a timeout. And Marie's going to get it. We'll go ahead and take one, two. 7.24 left, 30.28, Mariv. Back to Lagodi in 30 seconds. Clinton Yoder, long two, got it to go. 32.28. That's his spot, Mike. 17-foot jumper, he's taken them all year. He has started to make a few. He struggled a little bit early in the season, but he's definitely capable of, you know, we've watched him on the JV making those jumpers last year and that was a uh, wide open nice little drive in and you know when he has a seat when he has his feet set you don't mind him taking it if it's a good shot sometimes he he takes it in, in a bad opportunity but that one there we'll take it Ari by four again Lagodi with the ball Wagner's got it Bauer two is going to be short rebounded by Isaac good rebound there by Isaac 17 footer by Bauer was not on the mark. Here comes Barry with a four-point lead and the ball. And if I was Bauer, I think I would continue to, to drive the basketball. He had some success getting to the free throw line a couple of times. Keegan O'Neill. He's going to spin, and they're going to call him for a travel. Keegan has to understand when he has the ball and he starts making a move, there is, there's multiple Lion defenders that are coming towards him. I mean, that, that, that move is just not going to be there uh, against a team that's going to double you and, and even triple you at times. You know, get the ball out, get it back reverse, go get, go get your post position again. So Penley with the basketball for Lagodi. Lane and Hart are going to fire a three. It's going to be no good. Isaac's just done a nice job on the boards today. Yeah, he has. Quite like he's one of the few Vikings that are really scrapped for some big plays. And then he just dribbled it right down to the left block. Little spin move, went off the glass and got it. And that's Barry's biggest lead of the game, 34-28. Really happy with the way Isaac's played here tonight. So Lagodi with the ball. Wagner over to Bauer. And they're going to call a jump ball. Yes, that was a good call. When they blew the whistle, I thought they were going to, they were anticipating the foul from Keegan, and Keegan made a really nice defensive play. Got 
He got the jump ball. That's a, that's a big play. Vikings will get the ball back on the alternate possession. 34-28, 5.36 left. Big play there by O'Neal. Looks like the Lions are going to come out in a little 2-2-1. 2-2-1 pressure. Probably fall back into a man-to-man. Isaac Wagler with it in the backcourt. And Isaac going to be fouled. They almost had him picked from behind, but Isaac had spun back out of it. They're going to get it on Finley. Yeah, there's two things there. Isaac has to be aware when he dribbles it across that when the Lions were in that kind of defense, they, they're going to look for a trap in that trap area. He dribbled it right across half court, and as he was spinning back, and the other thing, Bryson, you know, Pinley left his area. Bryson's got to be hollering and, and really has to be springing over there to help Isaac out. Isaac's got it. Bryson now, and they're going to get an offensive foul on Isaac there. the one that fell on the ground. I'd say it was a moving, it had to be a moving screen. That's what they had to call. Not much argument from the coach. No, it was right in front of the bench. So Isaac must have been moving as he got hit on the screen and then fell down. That's uh, what, what the only thing I can, I can think of. Like you said, no argument from the bench. He was trying to set a screen for Gabe Gladys' man too, so... Sometimes that's tough to do, the way defenders guard Gabe. Deer Wester going down. His shot, no good. Tapped around. And now they're going to get a foul on Bar-Eve. Another chance, another time that the Lions came up with the ball. After bar -Eve had an opportunity. That's going to be number three on Keegan. Six-team foul for bar -Eve. So Ligoti will be in the bonus uh, the rest of the way. And that's, that's important because the Lions, if they continue to look to drive the basketball, they're going to put Barry in some tough defensive situations. And again, like you said, another 50-50 ball that, that Barry could have, could have, should have, would have. Deer Wester gets them both, 34-30. Deer Wester has four, all four from the free throw line. He's 4-4 four, four from there tonight. Bryson with it. Four and a half minutes left. And they're going to get a foul on, I think, Pinley. And Isaac almost traveled with the basketball. Yeah, he did travel with it. And, uh, the official saying the foul happened before he traveled. <laughs> uh, again, again, that's one. If you're a Lion fan, you did not like the call. If you're a Bari fan, you'll, you'll take it. Gladish with it, high on the right side, Ains go. Back to Bryson, looking inside to Keegan. Can't find him. Uh, and, and that's that's where the Lego Bryson's defender is sagging off and giving Bryson the three, and it makes that entry pass a lot harder. And now Barry going to turn one over, and here comes Deer Wester down the other way. He's going to lose it. Barry going to pick it back up. And there's going to be a race for the ball, and here comes Ligoti with it. Just a... Oh. Just bad passing everywhere. Ligoti with it. 34-30, Bar Eve. They're both teams. <laughs> Cheesum's got it. No matter who wins tonight or this afternoon, they're going to both, either team, both teams are going to know they can play better, and when sectional comes around, that they will hopefully will play better. Three-point play. The defense on Wagner was pretty good. Block shot and it went right to Bauer. Bauer picked it up, made the basket and the foul. Gabe Gladys, that will be his second foul, 34-32. The freshman has an opportunity to cut the lead 2-1 with 3.25 left in the fourth quarter. Free throw is up, no good. And Keegan O'Neal is fortunate that we got the rebound. Wagner was the only one on the line, and he just went after the rebound harder than either of the Viking players, Keegan or Austin. Again, Barry lucky to get that rebound. Bryson Graber, Gladish going to set for a three. It's going to be short, rebounded by Lagodi. With three minutes left exactly. 
Wagner with the basketball. Going to hand it back. Deer Wester over to Cheesem. Finley. Bauer. Wagner. Deer Wester has a lane. And Bauer's shot going to be blocked. We're going to call a foul. And they're going to get it on Keegan. That's going to be his fourth. So Bauer going to the line with a chance to tie the game. Got the first one. 34-33. And the second one is going to be short. But Marie missed a block out, and the only thing that saved the possession was Wagner stepping on the sideline. They completely whipped. Vine Hughes wants a timeout. We're going to take one, too. 239 left, 34 33. Back to Jack Butcher Sports Arena after this one minute timeout. even blocking out one guy no, in the lane. Right. No. We got four, and they've got one guy on the lane. And he literally, I mean, he almost got the last one. The last two. Isaac is literally the only player he's, that we have that has he's any the, he's the urgency only whatsoever. Only one. Keegan's going to foul out. We'll give it to Bauer and let him drive. 34-33. Neither team even trying to hold the ball. Back at Lagodi, 2.39 left in the game, Coach Ash. 34-33, Vikings by a point. Yeah, the Vikings, fortunately, Lagodi's missed a few free throws here, but... They've not done a very good job securing the rebound. Fortunately, Odie did not get two offensive rebounds on those last two missed free throws. Um, you know, this is going to be one. Both coaches go to that tape, and they should, there's going to be a lot of teaching points for these kids. Bar Eve across the center circle. Austin Ains go with it. And they're going to get a foul on... Cheesem holding Gladish. That's going to be number five on Lagodi. So Barry's going to get it on the baseline. You could call that foul almost every possession. And, and that's what teams try to do. They really try to get tight on Gabe. They try to hold him. They try to bump him. And, you know, that's, that's what you got to do with him. And the way he shot the ball this year, you really have to. And they're going to get an offensive foul on Ainsco on the other end. Wow, that's the ninth team foul, so Ligoti will be in the double bonus now the rest of the way. Oh, man. Five team fouls for the Lions, so the Vikings are not in the bonus yet. 34-33, Vikings, 222 left. Just, man, you just cannot have... This late in the game, in a tight ball game, you've got to get a shot. You've got to execute offensively. These turnovers get magnified in these late game situations. Lagodi with the basketball. Uh, I thought Lagodi, yep, yeah, into Bauer. Bauer's shot going to be blocked by Ainsco on the weak side. Gladys going to come up with it. Good help by Ainsco. Good job by Keegan O'Neill. They're going right at Keegan with four fouls and trying to get him out of the game. Bryson Graber with the basketball. And he's going to travel with it. You can't pick your dribble up. You know, he dribbled it down trying to get the ball to Ainsco. It was not open. He picked it up and got him 
And then Wagner did a nice job putting pressure on him. Bryson just kind of fell down and traveled. Goatee going to call a timeout with a minute 40 left. We'll take one, two. 34-33, Vikings by a point, minute 40 left. Back to Jack Butcher Sports Arena after this one-minute timeout. Mike beat him 50-25 this morning. Blue chip championship. Mike did. He wasn't allowed. He was nice to him. Could have been like 70-25. to 25. He's not scared of this. Two in a row there. I'm surprised they didn't call Neil down here. That was no different than the last time. Could have got him. Yep. Again, Barry was not getting shots on the offensive end. A couple possessions with big turnovers, giving the Lions every opportunity. We've got to really, we got to buckle down here defensively. A minute 40 left, up one. We've got to get some stops and make sure we secure those rebounds. Those second chance opportunities is... Just third foul, just a little just overplayed a little bit on the pass. Minute 29 left. Wagner's free throw. Got it. 36 34. Bryson Graber with the basketball. Out to Ainsco. Isaac Wagler. Bryson's got it again. Gladish. And he's going to be fouled on his way to the bucket with a minute six left. It's a six-team foul on the line, so the Barry will now be in the bonus. So on the inbounds, Keegan O'Neill with it. And Keegan going to go down off the glass. Miss it. Isaac Wagner going to pick it up. Out to Gladish. Back to Isaac. Bryson's got it again. Over to Isaac. Isaac off the glass. Got it. We'll fight at 36. 45 seconds left. Isaac thought about the three and good decision there. He hadn't taken one all game and he went ahead and kept it to his strength and drove it to the rim and was able to finish. Wagner's got the basketball. We're at 30 seconds left. Wagoti's going to try to get the last shot. Dear Wester. Down the lane. Oh, and he's going to throw it out of bounds. 22.6 seconds left. Marie is going to get it back. Brian Hughes wants a full timeout. We'll go ahead and keep it right here. 22.6 seconds left. We're tied at 36. It will be Barry basketball. Next foul, we'll put Barry in the bonus. If there is a tie-up, possession arrow will give it back to Ligoti. Coach Ash, what are we drawing up right here? Uh, you want to take the last shot. Uh, you want to get the clock down. I would prefer taking it under five seconds. You just do not want to let Wagner get a long rebound and able to just sprint it out in the open court with five or six seconds. So you want to definitely take the shot. You don't want to shoot too early. You know, eight, nine seconds is going to be too too much time. Um, good defensive play by Barry. You know, Dear Wester, I think he would love to have that back. He just drove it too deep. He could have drove it right in that free throw line area and then just kind of jab stepped and, and dribbled it right back out. And he would have, he would have been able to kill another 
15, 20 seconds to take the last shot. So just an unfortunate break there for the Lions, but Bar Reeve, nice defensive work. Again, that was Isaac Wagner guarding the ball, guarding Deer Wester. Now, if I'm Bryce and I, I, I do not cross half court here, just take your time. Let about seven seconds go before you break the half court line. Here we go, Bryson with it in the center circle. We're at 15. Isaac Wagler's got it on the right side. We're at 10. Gladish on the left. Over to Bryson. Bryson gonna get around everybody off the glass. No good. And Lagodi gonna throw one and time is going to run out and we are headed to overtime. At the end of regulation, 36-36, Bariv and Lagodi. We're going to take a one-minute timeout, and when we come back overtime, back to Jack Butcher Sports Arena right after this. What were we trying to get there? Okay, well, it went to Gabe. I think it was, I think they were going inside. Because you want Gabe making your entry pass. Because the guy will guard Gabe. He wants to sag off. But Keegan didn't have good post position. I mean, they, they were three-quarter around him. And he was too low. So he can flatten it out and get the guys that he's the only one that's getting around people. And he's got the matchup where he can get around somebody. Kevin said we should run a play for two sports and <laughs> Some of these could have made it too. Man, he could have made that. Back at Lagodi High School, Jack Butcher Sports Arena. Tied at 36, four minutes. And we're headed to overtime, Coach Ash. <laughs> Both teams a little confused here coming out in the overtime. Which direction they were going. That was a bad toss. Oh my goodness. They're gonna re-throw re toss that. Neither play, neither player could go up and get it. Oh, and then a quick toss. And Bauer able to get up quickly and get it. Just not a good toss. Either 0 for 2 for the official. So Lagodi with it. We're looking into Bauer. Cheesem's got it out high. Over to Wagner. Henley's got it now. We're three and a half minutes. Let's see if they try to get Bauer isolated where he can drive or post Keegan O'Neill. Keegan with those four fouls has to be smart defensively. There's Bauer with it, top of the key. Deer Wester in the corner, caught for just a second, out to Bauer. Back to Penley. Cheese him with it, over to Penley. Wagner, now he's gonna bag it out. We're a minute in. Good defense so far here by Bar-Eve. Lagodi being patient. Penley's got it. Over to, to Wagner. Into the corner. And Cheese him gonna bring it back out. Almost two and a half minutes left. And uh, they're going to get a foul on Austin Ainsco. And that's going to put Penley at the line. Strong drive there by Penley. Ainsco just kind of got beat on, was on the shoulder and went up to block the shot and got him with the body. Kenley got the first one to go, 37-36 Lagodi. Second one no good, rebounded by Ainsco. And Wagner almost got a steal, almost got a foul off of that rebound. But... Bari with their first possession here in overtime, Keegan's got it. 
And Keegan just going to use the rim, shield himself, go to the other side, lay it in. Murray by a point, 38-37. Good job there. Good patience by Keegan. He had the double team, and, and Bauer just kind of gave a little bit of extra room there on the baseline. He was able to spin around Bauer for the layup. So we're at a minute 50 left. Wagner's got it. Hands it back to Cheesem. Dear Wester now. Over to Pinley. Wagner. Wagner trying to turn the corner. He's going to hand it back to Dear Wester. And now Coach Kent Cheesem wants a timeout. It's going to be a full. We'll take one, two. Minute 28 left. 37 or 38 37 Bar Eve. Back to Lagodi after this one minute timeout. Time 38 37, Aaron Ash. Again, Lagodi in the double bonus here with a minute 28 left. That's going to be priority number one for Bar Reeve. Good containment defense. You're up one, but do not put Lagodi to the free. Don't put him on the line. Make him earn it. They have not shot the ball particularly well from the field. Make them earn it. Henley with it. Dear Wester. They're looking inside to Wagner. Can't find him. They're going to back it out. They tried to post Wagner there. Good idea there. Nice job by Isaac kind of faking back and forth with Deerwester, not letting him get that entry pass in. Cheesem's got it. We're at a minute exactly. Silas Bauer. And his shot going to be blocked, but Lagodi going to pick it back up. Man, good defense by Murray, but they could not get the loose ball off the block. And now Bauer going to be fouled by Bryson Graber with 45.7. That'll put Bauer at the line to shoot two. And Bryson saw the ball and was diving to make a good little tap away, but just grabbed Silas's arm it looked like, so Bauer will have two free throws. Bowers first is long, no good. We'll have one more. Something to watch here, Mike, is Austin Ainsco and Jaden Wagner underneath here. Austin has got to block him out. Jaden's been going really hard after rebounds. And he got the second, so we're tied at 38. Bryson Graber over to Gladish. Gladish going to cross the center circle. 35 seconds left. Gladish. We're under 30. Over to Bryson. We're at 25. Bryson. We're at 15. And here goes Bari. 10 seconds. Gladish has it. Over to Ainsco. Gabe going to fire. Three. Backside. Of all of the bad things that have happened to Bari today, oh my goodness. Unbelievable. And you got to say that they've not necessarily been bad breaks. Lagodi's won a majority of those 50-50 balls today. Big 
sunshine, quite frankly, because their effort has been really good. But Gladish works hard, and sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Gladish banks in a three from the right wing. 41-38, there are three seconds left in the game, so Lagodi will have a chance here, Coach Ash. That was off, that was off of a set call. Coach Hughes did not call timeout, which was a good, a good move. He knew the set he wanted. He was going to give Gabe the opportunity to make a play. A nice flare screen. That's a tough shot. That flare screen for shooters, that's a tough shot. Your momentum's going backwards. Um, and Gabe knocked it, banked it in. I would say Lion fans... Um, we'll remember a shot like that last year in the sectional. You had Jaden Wagner kind of on the flare screen, uh, banking it in. So Ligoti going to go the length of the floor. Three seconds left. It's going to be harder taking it out. And here we go. Let's see what type of set they run. Bowers got it at half court. And Deer West are going to launch one at the buzzer, and it is... Inside to Keegan, his pass going to be kicked out of bounds. Bari going to get it on the baseline. Ian Bauer did a nice job getting around Keegan, making it hard to make hard angle. And Bryson tried to take a dribble and get that entry pass, but not able to. On the inbounds, Ainsco going to run it down in the backcourt. Here comes Isaac Wagler. Isaac over to Bryson. Bari going to try to get in a set here. Bryson Graber out to Isaac Wagler. Isaac still with it over to Gabe. Gabe. Keegan, baseline jumper. Going to miss it. Ball going to be on the floor. Here comes the goalie with it. So three minutes left in the second overtime. Cheesem with the basketball. There's Bauer working on Keegan. His shot going to be blocked. And here comes Isaac Wagner on the run. That was Ainsco coming over to swat that ball. Bryce and Graber, and they're going to get him for a travel. Good drive, just a little extra step there. One thing Ainsco's going to have to be careful of when he's helping out and blocking those shots, he's really taking a big swipe. Just go up and block it. There's no use to take that big swipe at the ball. Officials sometimes, even if you get it clean, are going to call a foul. Two and a half minutes left, Wagner with it. Pinley with the basketball now. 
He's going to get it over to Deerwester. Back to Penley. We're tied at 41. 210 left. Bauer. Tough shot by Silas Bauer. Just a little turnaround jump shot. Barely fading away. Isaac Wagler out to Gabe Gladish. Ains go with it in the post. Back out, Bryson Graber. Over to Ains go. Little shot fake back to Bryson. Ains go going to set for three. Got it. That was created by Bryson Graber. Gets in the lane. Good drive. Ains go with his feet set. Jaden Wagner over to Deer Wester. And Pinley. With a minute five left in the basketball game. I was having a really nice game. Keegan going to set for three. He got offensive. Now we just breaking out on this. Too much scoring going on. 47 45. <laughs> the Goatee with the basketball. 45 seconds left. Wagner working. He and Gladish really working in the post against each other. Two very physical players play hard. Pinley's going to bag it out. Over to Cheesem. We're at 30 seconds. Goodness, that's terrible. That's awful. Terrible call. So with 26.6 seconds left, Wagner going to go to the line to shoot two. Jaden's first one, got it. 47-46. Bari by a point. This one could tie it. And he got 47 off. That's what you like to see out of a senior. Stepping up, making big free throws. So here comes Bryson. We are at 20 seconds left. Haynes go. Over to Isaac Wagler, we're at 10. Isaac goes down off the glass, short. And here comes Lagodi with the basketball. And the 2.8. Lagodi going to head on the side and go basically 75 feet, Coach Ash. They had it with three seconds last time, Mike, and they went the entire distance. How do we defend this, Coach Ash? Well, you want them to catch it in the backcourt. That's the you know, number one thing. You do not want them to be able to throw the ball into their front court because 2.8 seconds, you've got time for two or three dribbles. Yeah, so that's a lot of time to get yourself a good shot. So you don't want to overplay and get beat going towards the Goody basket and then be scrambling. If you can make them catch it in their backcourt, you know, the best shot they're probably going to get is 25 to 30 feet. So we are in overtime number two, 47-47. 2.8 seconds left. Lagodi, as we mentioned, they will have 70 or 75 feet to go. We'll see how Barib's going to defend this. It'll be interesting to see if they put anybody on the inbounder. And it got does, throwing the inbounds pass. We'll see if they... It doesn't look like it. They did. They, the first time they did, they had Ains go on the ball. The biggest thing is making them catch it back there. So here we go. If Lagodi is upset, they drew a play up with the ball being on the bench side. And the officials are putting it over in front of the band. So everything is reversed now. And Lagodi going to take another timeout. Going to be another full. 
2.8 seconds left, 47 all. And uh, Lagodi will have to go, as we mentioned, 70, 75 feet. Trying to get organized here. And at the end of overtime number one, we saw a situation where basically there were two lucky shots. Gabe Radish banked in a long three, three seconds left. And then Lagodi going back the other way after a timeout. Bailey Deerwester, probably a oh, 25 or 30 footer, somewhere in that neighborhood. That bounced high, bounced again, and rolled in. How exciting is this section going to be, Mike? Oh, my. These two teams, you throw Orleans that lost close games to Parive and Ligoti. Shoals, Reve played Ligoti tough. Parive hasn't played Reve yet. So here we go, 2.8. And let's see what Ligoti tries to do. Bauer with it at half court. Harder going to launch one at the buzzer, and it's going to be short. And good defense right there by Barreep. Harder had to launch one. Oh, it was probably a 35-footer and hit the side of the rim and fell off. So we are going to overtime number three. Four minutes on the clock again. 47-47. Back to Lagodi High School after this. One-minute timeout. when you've got two players that you're nobody else has stepped up to be that third major threat to, to rely on. has got to have someone get a shot. Lagodi, overtime number three. Both teams in the center circle, tip up. Bari with it. And here comes Bryson Graber. Bryson. Kicks it back out, Isaac Wagler. Gabe Gladish, hands it back to Bryson. Let's see what Bari tries to get done offensively right here. Bryson over to Keegan. Keegan out high. Isaac Wagler over to Bryson in the corner. Gladish now on the left wing over to Isaac. Ainsco. Keegan on the baseline. Goes over and everybody lays it in. 49-47. Barry strikes first here in overtime number three. And what I liked about that was they got two or three ball reversals. They, they got the ball swung around, and that makes it hard to guard a good post player that keeps moving. And Keegan got a good position there made a nice move. So Ligoti with the basketball. We're under three minutes here in the second overtime. Wagner. Deer Wester wanted to pull the trigger on a three. Bauer. Cheesum's got it again. And now Wagner has it. Dear Wester. And Lagodi just trying to find a good shot. Bauer, harder, gonna fire a three. It's gonna be an air ball and rebounded by Bryson. Carter had a good look. Ainsco kind of lost him there, but Carter was not able to draw iron on that three. Looks like Barry's going to kind of spread it out here with two minutes and ten seconds to go. Bryson Graber over to Keegan, back to Bryson. Isaac Wagler's got it now. We're at two minutes exactly. Back out to Isaac, coming up on a minute 50. 
Bari just taking a little time right here. Goody with 16 fouls, so Bari will be in the bonus on the next foul. And they hit a cutting. Keegan O'Neill. Keegan lays it in. Good job. Body control in there. It's a four-point Viking lead with a minute and a half left. So Bari needs a stop right now, and there they're going to get it. And they are going to give Isaac Ryder the timeout. He was sliding on the floor, so Bari going to get the possession. Minute 28, and in a game where Bari has not played perfectly by any stretch of the imagination, Coach Ash, Isaac Wagler, he has packed the lunch, and he's been here all day. He has. He's done a nice job defensively, and it's those, it's those plays just like that. You know, a former Viking player, Ross Seal, one of my favorite kids that I've ever coached. You know, there were... Ross had limitations on, you know, he wasn't the best shooter, wasn't the best ball handler, but you had to have him on the floor. You couldn't take him off the floor. And it was plays like that, diving on the floor, calling a timeout, knowing he's going to travel, you know, when he slides on the floor, right when he got his hands on it, he called timeout. Um, and and that's, that's the kind of effort, and I think that's the kind of role that Isaac has kind of taken on this year. He's... You know, he hasn't looked for a shot much. He'll, he makes good cuts. He makes good, heady plays. And uh, that, that's a big one for Barib. Turnover. Ligoti did not even get a shot down four. So Barib has got to take care of the basketball right now. They're going to spread it out. Ligoti's going to look to trap, be aggressive, try to get some steals. Uh, Barib's going to take care of the ball and make some free throws. So minute 28 left. 51-47 Vikings. Barib basketball. They will be in the bonus. And Bryson's got it in the backcourt. Over to Isaac. Barry just got to do a good job here of passing ahead. Keegan's got it way out high. And they find Gabe Gladish, and Gabe going to be fouled. And he got loose on the back end of that with a minute eight left. Gabe going to go to the line to shoot two. Okay, we'll take that. Ainsco made a good cut. Keegan, nice pass. And Ainsco made a nice little pass to Gabe. And we'll take Gabe shooting two free throws. That's one possession that Ligoti does not get to take advantage of already being in the bonus. Gabe will get two free throws here. Gabriel's first one is short. He's got one more. Minute eight, 51-47. Gabe second. Got it. How many does Isaac have tonight, Coach Ash? Isaac has 10 tonight. So 52 47, we're at a minute exactly. Bari needs a stop. Cheese him with the basketball. Wagner going to set for three. It's going to roll over. And after it bounced high, like Pavlov's dogs, Coach Ash, I just naturally thought it was going to bounce back in. <laughs> it's stuck up there, too. And, oh, come on, Keegan. <laughs> Keegan has taken two shots and missed. Bauer with a miss. Keegan, <laughs> I've never seen anyone like this. Come on, Ainsco. The ball is stuck on top of the backboard, and neither Barty or Ligoti can hit it and get it down. <laughs> so Bauer missed a couple. Keegan missed a couple. Oh, Ains my goodness. Ainsco had about three cracks at it. He's going to knock it off. So Barty going to get it. 54.5, 52-47. And some full court pressure right here. And we're going to have to throw it long. Keegan going to run it down. Almost had a streaking Ainsco for a layup. And now Barty going to bag it out. Bryson Graber. And Bryson going to be fouled with 43.7. Bryson going to go to the line. That is team foul number eight. So, although you like Ball Reeves' position, they are going to have to make some free throws You're to right. close this it's deal out. Only a five-point lead here. Freshman at the line. Missed it. Guess who got the rebound, Coach Ash? Isaac Wagler again. Isaac Ball Reeves another Wagler. possession. Isaac Wagler. How about that? And now Keegan going to be fouled. What a great hustle play. He's the only one on the free throw line for Barry. All the other three guys are back. And Isaac, one on four 
goes and gets a rebound, gives Barrieve another opportunity at the foul line. Keegan got that one, 53-47, six-point game, 39.9 seconds left. You know, those are game-changing plays. And he got them both, 54-47. So here comes Cheesem with the basketball. He's going to hand it back to Wagner. Deerwester's got it now. Looking for Wagner. Deerwester shot, no good. Rebounded by Gabe. And Gabe going to be fouled with 27.3. So now Bar even the double bonus. And with a three-possession lead, you certainly feel good about the Viking chances, Coach Ash. And that's going to be five fouls on Cade Cheesem. Cheesem finishes the night with eight points. He's had, he had a nice ball game for Cade Cheesem tonight. Yeah, he had a really nice first half. Kind of yeah. kept... Kept Ligoti in it. It's Gabriel at the line. Free throw. Got it. 55-47. We'll have one more. Gabe has 16 points tonight. Make that 17. 56-47. Nine point lead. 27 seconds left. So here comes Ligoti. Finley, going to kick it back, Deer Wester, long two by Bailey, and he got it to go, and Barry just going to take their time getting it in, Bryson Graber, over to Isaac Wagler, Keegan now, going to pick it up, 